Hello everyone, it's Events Body again with another video, and in this video I would like to discuss uh, adding a different compound to your testosterone cycle. First of all, let me discuss this, let me say this outright. Uh, I do not condone the use of steroids, but everyone as an adult has a choice what path they take, and I do support everyone's right to, 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 to do that. Uh, you know, people choose to smoke, some people choose to take drugs, some people choose to be, you know, taking anabolic steroids. Everyone's an adult and everyone can um, live with their own decisions. So your decision is to take it or not take it, okay? I do not condone it. So, back to the um, topic at hand, uh, Nandrolone, DECA. Uh, which is a compound usually added to a testosterone cycle and you will hear a lot of people will say that uh, your, 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 you want some, one of your cycles, one of your first cycles should be the combination of testosterone and DECA. As I've mentioned earlier in my videos, I definitely suggest and I definitely stick by using only one compound for your first cycle. Uh, but for your, let's say, second or third cycle, you can actually look at uh, utilizing different compounds, especially in the nandrolone um, component, um, if you haven't had any side effects and if any, everything was fine in your first first cycle. Uh, so why do people take nandrolone as another compound? Well, obviously you would know, um, you know, just common sense will tell you that you know two compounds will react in the body differently but how differently okay specifically the use of uh, nandrolone has a uh, surprisingly a health benefit uh, to a combination of testosterone now let's let's discuss that testosterone and nandrolone they're both androgenic compounds okay they're both androgenic compounds. Then nandrolone is actually even more androgenic than, than testosterone, okay? And we're not talking about anabolic. We're talking about androgenic, okay? It affects what it has on your on your, on your body, all right? In terms of the, the hair follicles, in terms of the, the, the sexual uh, organs and everything else, okay? Now, what happens, this, this is where, where it gets tricky. Um, these two um, metabolize differently in in sexual organs the brain and 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 and, and the body all right in the hair follicles as well so the hair follicles the brain and the sexual organs these two are metabolized differently testosterone is metabolized into DHT dihydrotestosterone okay DHT when it's metabolized it's actually a lot more androgenic than testosterone so in the sexual organs, in the um, hair follicles, so and the brain, these um, the DHT is very very androgenic. Okay, so this is where you you know you may have uh, you know loss of hair, uh, enlarged prostate. Okay, there's a side effects to a high dosage of testosterone. Nandrolone, on the other hand, even though it's more androgenic in the sexual organs, in the brain and the uh, hair follicles, uh, it's the metabolized into DHN, dihydronandrolone, okay, which is a lot less androgenic than than DHT. So what happens is that nandrolone, when taken, doesn't affect the hair follicles and doesn't affect your prostate as much as testosterone would do okay so let's say you are on a high dose cycle let's say you want to have six uh, milligrams uh, of you know uh, testosterone a week okay that will cause a significant risk obviously significant more risk of side effects like prostate enlargement and hair loss um, but what you do, instead of taking six mils of testosterone, you take, for example, three mils of testosterone and three mils of nandrolone. In a way, what you're doing is you are uh, getting the, the, the same anabolic effects of the six mils with less side effects uh, on your prostate 
and your hair follicles and everything else. Now, this study has been done actually uh, in 2016 by Kovac and I will post the study down below, okay? Uh, so it's, it has been researched, it's, uh, whether you like, believe it or not. Um, I think the science these days is uh, trying to finally figure out that, you know, people are actually doing this, people are using anabolic steroids, so why not study the effects of them? So that was the, the, that was the, 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 the research that pretty much came about. And they basically concluded, in layman's terms, that if you take testosterone with nandrolone, you are, you know, getting the same effects as doubling the testosterone if you actually took, you know, a half and half, half, half an angel and a half of testosterone, uh, rather than having the full testosterone cycle, or the high, high dosages. And I'm not talking about the beginner cycle where you get one or two mils a week of testosterone. I'm talking about the high dosages of testosterone, which like a five mils or six mils a week, where people are choosing to do that. Instead of doing that, you should be actually looking at splitting that into two compounds because of that effect, okay? Because nandrolone will have less effect on the prostate, will have less effect on your hair and everything else. So um, that's pretty much the reason why a lot of bodybuilders in the old times as well used to take uh, different compounds such as nandrolone uh, to combine with testosterone. Um, uh, so yeah, um, this is the, the, the new research that, that's been coming out. Uh, hopefully they do do more research on other other anabolic uh, uh, compounds. Uh, hopefully we get to, see, to get to see more of that. Uh, but other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. So if you are on your second or first, I mean second or third cycle and you are actually looking at different compounds, look into nandrolone. Uh, it is a very, very anabolic uh, compound uh, and it will help with your testosterone intake with less side effects in terms of the prostate um, and hair loss and everything else. So think about that. If you have any questions, write them down below. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys soon.